Hi guys, okay, this is the last criterion, criterion E, which is use of mathematics. Now this is the only one that's actually different for standard level and higher level. The other ones are exactly the same. They're, um, you are measured against the exact same descriptors. So for SL, let me look at, okay, well, firstly, three, four, five, and six, they all have the same first line, right? Which is, relevant mathematics commensurate, commensurate with the level of the course is used, right? So that means you have to use standard level mathematics. If you do a wonderful, amazing IA investigation where you use just Sokotoa and Pythagoras' theorem and you're doing something on triangles, you cannot get more than two for this criterion because you're only using prior learning. So you have to use the you have to use maths that is commensurate with the level of the course means at the same level. So basically in the course. Um, then once you get to three, once you get to at least three, this is limited understanding, some understanding, good understanding, and thorough knowledge and understanding. So look, six is quite hard to get to. This is the this is the the most valuable criterion, shall we say, it's the, it's out of six, where the others are four, four, three, three. Um, but look, I really, really don't think it's difficult to get to four, because four is some knowledge and understanding are demonstrated. How can you write an IA and not have some knowledge and understanding? I just don't see how that's even possible. So if you even have standard level maths and you've done something, you should be able to get to four here. Five is kind of what I'd like to see everyone get to. Good knowledge and understanding demonstrates that that shows you know what you're doing. And then six, it's often just not awarded because often people just like to give five instead of the six. I, I don't like that. I think we should be giving six when it's appropriate. Thorough knowledge and understanding means look, you thoroughly understand something. Now I, I do get that sometimes even I don't thoroughly understand a particular a particular topic. So there's an argument to say quite often, well, the student hasn't shown that they thoroughly understand something. Thoroughly means that you understand everything right through the through the IA and you really understand it at a at a deep level. So that's the standard level one. The the higher level one what have I done there okay the higher level one is let me scroll down is similar it's similar but where where it changes is so you need you need relevant to get to three you need relevant mathematics commensurate with the level of the course now remember the standard standard level is a complete subset of higher level so if it's in the standard level course, it's also in the higher level course. So commensurate with the level of the course can be um, standard level. So if you're doing an, an IA, a higher level IA on a fairly basic quadratic quadratic equation, like a basketball shot, you can get to four because it's relevant, commensurate with the level of the course, and you can show good knowledge and understanding. So you can get to four, but you can't get to five. Five is got some fancy words here it says the exploration explores correct and demonstrates sophistication or rigor now I'll get to what those words mean but that base it it basically means that you have to go into the the mathematics that's in the higher level course and not in the standard level course and then six is um, it's precise which means there's no error whatsoever and demonstrate sophistication and rigor. So both of them. This is sophistication or rigor. This is sophistication and rigor. Okay, very hard to get to six for a, for a HLIA, but I've seen it done many a time. So let me just go through these points. First one, make sure the mathematics is not just prior learning like Pythagoras or Sokotoa. Mentioned that already. Make sure you understand all of the mathematics. If you don't, it will be obvious. Now that's very true. If you don't understand what you're doing, trust me, the reader will know you don't understand what you're doing. So choose a topic with mathematics that you understand, or at least when you're doing it, make sure you understand what it means. Um, and that leads me to don't, 
don't you don't have to do really really complicated mathematics i often get higher level students particular saying do i should i should i do maths that's beyond the level of the course no don't you don't have to do that you can if you really want to and if you're really really into mathematics fine but you don't have to go beyond the level of the course in fact i recommend strongly that you don't that you stay within and you really in investigate deeply mathematics that that's somewhat basic not, not basic but that you understand um next one clearly cl clearly explain each step of your working right so don't just go from from if, you, if you've got a big equation don't just go from the equation to the answer without explaining what you're doing you explain step by step and on the left you write what's going on make sure the mathematics is correct that's easy you've got you can use any maths calculator you want to check your answer and there are amazing powerful calculators so make sure you check your answers to check that you're right all the mathematics should be relevant example of what not to do or equals 0 0.2 I will now find the regression equation to make predictions what's wrong with that well or equals 0 0.2 means there's no correlation so why would you go and why would you go and make a regression equation and make predictions on something that doesn't even correlate so that shows you don't understand what you're doing if you use technology to find a solution make sure you have demonstrated understanding okay so don't just use a calculator and say there's the answer show what that you understand what the calculator has done don't use very complicated mathematics if simpler mathematics could have been used so what I mean by that is let's say finding the area of a rectangle we know how to do that as base times height and you say oh I'm going to do I'm going to use integration really complicated in, in calculus to find the area that shows you that shows you you're, you're just deliberately trying to find complicated maths where it's not actually useful okay so that's uh, those points are for SL and HL for HL only this is what sophistication means. Well, I've, I've mentioned it. Sophistication means commensurate with the HL course or if found in the SL course, it is beyond what an SL student could reasonably be expected to do. Um, so make of that what, what, what you will. Precise means um, when you're going from one step to the next and that you're really explaining what's actually going on so that the reader can follow it. Okay, in this lesson, or this video I'm not going to go through any examples because I've already given you or sh shown you examples in, in the other in the other videos that um, that have great great mathematics shown so and and as well it's it's obvious from reading this what you need to do you need to use maths that's commensurate with the level of the course and that you understand it and that you've explained it properly okay um, the next video I am going to um, the next video I'm going to, to I'm going to look at how to come up with an idea or a topic which is arguably the most important video of them all um, click the link below to see all the videos